Welcome. Week four, Code Jam. We're going to jump right in because I think you're here to see who won. And it's very exciting when we get to announce the winners. I'm Terry. I run Tinker Co uh, Consumer Marketing. Hey, I'm Vidya. And I'm super excited with all the awesome submissions this week. Hi, I'm Nate. And I love seeing all your flying machines. Hey, everyone. I'm Mickey. And I made last week's Flying Machine Challenge. And I'm so happy to see so many great submissions. Awesome. I didn't know that was your challenge. Good job, Mickey. Uh, Vidya, why don't you remind us how we pick the winners and then we won't make people wait. We'll just jump in and look at all of these amazing machines. No problem. As always, you know, our challenge goes up on Monday and it stays on till uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry. And then, uh, you know, we announce the winners on Wednesdays. And, uh, you know, we have four main criteria to choose the winners. Originality, creativity, coding, as well as staying on theme. Awesome. Oh, our go ahead. challenge for this week was design a flying machine. Okay. So let's, let's, let's announce them one by one. Uh, you guys are going to announce. Yes, exactly. I need a drum roll sound effect. You guys are going to announce. And then I'm going to show, but I'm going to start to share screen right now so you, they can see the first winner. There we go. Our first, hey, hey. Our first winner is from Sour Lemon. It is a Charizard that they made from a bat. Um, this one's really cool in the code. It's actually tameable. And so the user is able to tame it and then ride it around. It also shoots fireballs as a Charizard should. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. Okay, number two. Next one. Our second one is from Ugly Tier, who used a creeper to make a creeper plane. They got all the heads, they got uh, the head from the creeper and reproduced it to make the shape of a plane. It looks really cool. All right, moving on. And the winner, number three. It's for Sonas, and this is a combat uh, vehicle, and it's made from a panda, and uh, there's very nice shading and design on it, and then if you go to the code, it actually, um, you know, it's rideable, it flies around, it's pretty cool. Next. Next up, we have an X-Wing that was made out of a Phantom. Uh, this one's really cool. All of, it looks exactly out of the movie. Um, and it also shoots fireballs like a Rebel X-Wing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Up next, we have the Titan plane from Special Ninja. This one's pretty cool. If you look at it in the code, it flies around. And if you get hit, then this will fly in to protect you and attack your enemies. <laughs> awesome. That's what I need. Oh, the next winner is, um, it's, I, I want to say the name correctly, Cool Girl 123, and it's a horse that has been converted to a chestocopter and very nicely done, and it looks great. Next up, we have a helicopter from RCT1504. Uh, this helicopter is extremely well done. Plus, we always appreciate the branding. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love the T on it. Yeah. Beautiful. Up next, we have Mega Rayquaza, made by Mega Rayquaza. This is a really cool Pokemon that I really like. And it attacks at night, and it's immune to fire. It's very cool. Next winner. This next winner is from Nutasaurus Rex, and this is an emergency chopper. It slows down when it's damaged, and if you look in the code, whenever you get damaged, it speeds up so that it can help you out. <laughs> next up, we have a TIE Fighter made out of an Enderman. Um, it's from Juni Fire. Now, this one's really cool in the code. When it's damaged, it starts to panic and fly around sporadically. So it starts to get all panicky when it's damaged. Uh, 
here we have a fighter drone. This fighter drone looks really cool. And inside the code, you can see that it flies around and can follow you. Who is the winner by? Oh, that was fighter drone. Got it. Oh, sorry. This is from Decoded Chimpanzee. This one. Yeah. There we go. Now, this is a World War One airplane from a person who codes made out of a guardian elder. Uh, I really want to point out the shading on the wings. It's beautiful and just all around great design. Oh, this one is very cool. And I want to say the name correctly. So give me just one second. The winner is um, Sentimental Scarecrow. And it's a phantom seaplane. Beautiful design all around. And if you go to the code, you can see that, um, you know, it, uh, it actually shoots snowball uh, when, and then it speeds up in the nighttime. So it's, it's pretty cool. Who's, that? Who's this one? This is a very cool one. Who wants to announce it? You're leaving everyone in suspense. All right. This is a <laughs> phantom glider from Alpha Beta. It's made out of a phantom. Uh, we really appreciated the patterning or the separation of colors throughout the entire part piece. Beautiful. Do you know, did you say who it was from? From Alpha Beta. Oh, who was it from? Um, Allie, there you go. Good job. All right, here's another winner. This is a skeleton that was given a flying apparatus. It's from Rural Radar. And we really appreciated how they took a base element of Minecraft and gave it something to fly around with. Uh, in the code, it, you notice it has different behavior for when it's night out or when it's daytime. And when it's daytime, it panics and it's very weak. But when it becomes nighttime, it becomes super strong and fires fireballs and a whole bunch of stuff snowballs and fireballs I a lot of a lot of firing oh drum roll please for the winner of the week I kind of pre-announced it yay and the winner of the week this is from big t 127 and we really really like this submission it was so much fun to look at it it's a uh, the hot air balloon with Steve inside Steve the Minecraft character uh, and it floats around and if you look inside the code you can see that it's immune to fire. It will fly around and it, you can ride it. It's very fun to look at. And at night, it'll follow enemies. <laughs> That's awesome. These yeah. are great winners. All right, congratulations, everybody. Really, really good job. Congratulations to our winners. You'll be hearing from us with your prizes. Got some special Minecraft prizes this week. And Vidya, what did you want to tell them about the challenge that's up? The next, uh, this, this week ongoing challenge is um, a build a crazy contraption using our physics engine. And so we're really looking forward. Keep submitting, you know, your chances of winning the uh, grand prize is if you submit every week. So keep your submissions coming. We're looking forward to this week. And don't forget the grand prize is $2,000. I know, right? <laughs> and, and actually, we have three grand prizes, $2,000, $1,000, $500. So three chances to win a grand yeah. prize. Can't wait to see all the submissions this week. All right. Next week, same time, same location. We will announce the winners from week five. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good luck. <laughs>